Where is the temporary directory in Linux? Does Linux have a standard temporary directory for general use, like Windows's? See column backslash temp folder? If so, where is it located? I found and so question about finding a TMP directory programmatically, but I want to set a temp location in an XML config file ahead of time. The file system hierarchy standard version 3.0 says slash tmp temporary files the slash tmp directory must be made available for programs that require temporary files programs must not assume that any files or directories in slash tmp are preserved between invocations of the program rationale IEEE standard POSIX.1 to 2008 lists requirements similar to the above section. Although data stored in slash TMP may be deleted in a site-specific manner, it is recommended that files and directories located in slash TMP be deleted whenever the system is booted. FHS added this recommendation on the basis of historical precedent and common practice, but did not make it a requirement because system administration is not within the scope of this standard. Slash var slash tmp, temporary files preserved between system reboots. The slash var slash tmp directory is made available for programs that require temporary files or directories that are preserved between system reboots. Therefore, data stored in slash var slash tmp is more persistent than data in slash tmp. Files and directories located in slash var slash tmp must not be deleted when the system is booted. Although data stored in slash var slash tmp is typically deleted in a site-specific manner, it is recommended that deletions occur at a less frequent interval than slash tmp. Also that the open group pays specifications issue 7, environment variables mentions the following. Tmtia this variable shall represent a path name of a directory made available for programs that need a place to create temporary files. System D has a say on this too. Slash TMP slash and slash var slash TMP slash are two world writable directories. Linux systems provide for temporary files. The former is typically on TMPFS and thus backed by RAM slash swap and flushed out on each reboot. The latter is typically a proper, persistent file system and thus backed by physical storage. This means Slash TMP slash should be used for smaller, size bounded files only, slash var slash TMP slash should be used for everything else. Data that shall survive a boot cycle shouldn't be placed in slash TMP slash. If the dollar tmdir environment variable is set, use that path, and neither use slash TMP slash nor slash var slash TMP slash directly. See file hierarchy 7 for details about these two, and most other, Directories of a Linux system. The paths can be queried with systemd path. Freedst, Nepst, Openst and Dragonfly have something similar described in the Here7Man page. This is an old question so today there is another option available. Linux distributions relying on system D, which is 90% of them, can now use $xdg underscore runtime underscore dear directory, xdg based directory specification, to store certain types of temporary files. It is generally located at slash run slash user slash dollar uid. This is a per user directory with 700, keeping files private. This is a TMPFS mount, aka RAM drive with great performance. It gets cleaned up automatically. The downside of TMPFS is that it should only be used to store small files, PID files, lock files, sockets etc.
Yes slash TMP is for general use. See here and here on the file system hierarchy standard. Slash TMP slash temporary files, see also slash var slash TMP. Often not preserved between system reboots. With some more details listed in the PDF. You cannot choose a single temporary directory name ahead of time that will work for any Linux system. In fact, you can't do that on Windows either. According to Wikipedia's article on temporary folders, the temporary directory on Windows is determined by the environment variable temp. If you were simply using C column backslash temp as a temporary directory on a Windows system that set temp to something else, then any program using your XML file to choose a temporary directory would fail. In short, the system temporary directory is determined by the environment on all modern operating systems that I know of, including both Windows and any Unix-like system. Setting a single static path as your temporary directory will only work as long as the defaults have not been changed. Anyway, the standard temporary directory in a typical Linux system is slash TMP. It is the equivalent of C column backslash temp in the sense that it is only the default temporary directory, not universal. Even if slash TMP is available, if a user or the system has set the temp environment variable, the value of that variable should be used instead. You could try choosing a temporary directory relative to the user's home directory, which you can create. If you want to support the channel, please consider subscribing.